back in Iran and today we are learning how to make a traditional Iranian meal called Dizi, which we'll prepare in this clay pot. Okay, and this is Ali who will show me, who will show us how to do it. here to show you how simply you can just prepare this famous food. So the pot that we have is for two people. Mm -hmm. So um, ingredients we have for four people. Okay. But we are going to prepare it for two people. So first of all you need to add your onion at the bottom of your pot. Okay. Then you add your meat. In full chunks like this. Yes, you don't full need to chunks. chop it. Yeah, or chop anything. it. You don't, you don't need to chop it, not at all. Okay. It hasn't to be chopped. Okay. Add it. Then you add your uh, chickpeas. Chickpeas, yes. Okay. You add your chickpeas. So it's and uh, one, one spoonful per one person. One spoonful per person, okay. yes, exactly. Then you add what? Pinto beans. Your pinto beans, as I told you before, you can change it. You can change it for any beans that you have. Mm -hmm. Pinto beans. And here a secret I want to reveal in this clip. The secret is what? Fat. The fat. Iranian just know the secret, lady. Don't laugh with the secret. You add this fat into it. And what happens with this fat then? You have a boiling water. You have a boiling water. You add this hot water and boiling water till the till the top. Top. Mm -hmm. Till the top. The taste of Iranian. The grape. Okay. You know, the grape. Pickled grape. Pickled grapes. In this. All right, then. then the last step is uh, one of one. one Spoon? A spoon of turmeric. Of turmeric. Yeah, one turmeric. Turmeric. Two spoons of red turmeric. The way, the way to sprinkle it, use this uh -huh. one, Iranian way. Ah, 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 And finally, add as much salt as you like. You know, you can taste the like. So, here everything is set and ready. So, you need just to turn on your oven. Your heat. Your, your heat, stove. yes, your mm -hmm. stove and put it slowly. Okay. But this one will get to a most delicious thing that you have ever eaten after six hours. It takes six hours, right? And you usually eat it for lunch. Uh, it's, 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 uh, to, 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 to tell the truth, this is a heavy meal. Mm -hmm. let's, let's start it. We'll yes, start it. Start it, yes. Do we need the lid it. as well? Yes, yes, yes. We have okay. to put the lid after all this. You know, let's start it. Alright, look at that, it's just on the stove. It's it crazy. is on the stove, yes, it is on the stove. And what makes it very delicious is this clay pot, you know? You can't have it in a just metal pot or a ceramic pot, just a clay pot. Very, I, I put emphasis on this, ladies and gentlemen watching us now, very slow. Yeah, it takes a long time, but it, it looks really simple. Like you just put everything in one pot and that's done. It's done. So I'm right. fully at your right, service. Alright, so we'll, we'll wait for six hours and then we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll wait here for six hours. It is starting. <laughs> One, two, three. Thank you so much. Don't risk to touch this pot. This clay pot is as hard as bearing you up and down. So, what I do, this is, ladies and gentlemen, Iranian bread. Very soft bread. So, you take this bread, 
you turn off the stove and you touch this one. You have to be a specialist to do this. Take a lid and give it a space. So, you just pull this orangish, beautiful water. What's next? Take some bread. Rip the bread into it. So let the bread just swim. <laughs> Swim, swim <laughs> as much as you love. Let them swim, swim. Uh, you know, this is this is. What I want you to test it. All right, please. Let's, let's, yeah, bring it please. in. Bring it in. Okay. Let me, let me call it. Please tell me, how does it taste? I'll tell you. I want your genuine feedback, true <laughs> feeling when you taste this. It is not pizza. All right. No, bring, not it in. bring it in. <laughs> Cohen. It is a slow. No, no, no. It's good. Like meaty. What? Meaty. Meaty. Taste. It's good. Meaty. So, when you enjoyed and you finished, let me taste it and see so what happens. Mm -hmm. Like me taste oily it. kind of meaty soup with bread. Like this will taste like it's yeah, it's quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Hot one, go to the camera, show to the camera so they can believe you. <laughs> Alright, so okay. how do you mash it? So, how to mash it? You know, and why do you mash it in Iranian culture? We mash it to relieve the pain. Mashing, believe me or not, mashing is a sign of relieving your Frustration. pain. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you just mash the fucking Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we mash it, we mash it, and you mash it, and I mash it. No, this is actually quite nice. Like you have this kind of mash. Mash. Like you mash the whole dizzy thing. You yeah. take it with bread, and then and like you can have some sides. Like you can have like pickled garlic, which is pretty weird, <laughs> or pickled peppers. Again, very strange. Or. Shreds of pomegranate. Shreds of pomegranate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like. like whatever that is, but it's really tasty.